Victorian Periodical Parade. <laughs> I was just up looking for my syphilis book. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I, moving to the story, I really like this one. This might have been yeah. my favorite one yet. I think it's going to have a couple different Scottish accents. Oh, yeah. I go deep into accents. I enjoy Badgensk dialect, mm -hmm. which is really difficult to understand until you understand it. Until, like, I've fallen into the full Scottish or full Irish, where it's difficult to understand when you first start listening to people. But then I'm like, okay, so then they roll their R's like this, or they make this tone, or, you know, they don't say children, they say barn. And yeah. You know, and they say Ken instead of no. Oh, my God. Yeah. It never occurred to me until you just said that. <laughs> and I'm talking to you. Did you ever think about the similarity between Scottish bairn and Norwegian barn? Because you mm -hmm. just said it with a Norwegian accent. And that, like, mm -hmm. triggered my mind in a way that I never yeah. thought of. And I was rereading it, and it came to window. And I was like, nope, nope. Uh, Scottish say vindu. And so I was like, let's pronounce that better. So, yeah, should be fun. No, but do you think there's a linguistic connection? Oh, there? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Vindu is totally from the Vikings. And Bern is probably also Barn. It probably is because there's a lot of like, um, even in the Canterbury Tales, mm -hmm. like I had to memorize the first part of the prologue. And um, have you ever read it? Did you ever do no. that? Okay, I'll show you. It's really hard for some people, but even that, and that's Middle English. It's not even Old English. It right. is so similar to Norwegian. Like there are true mm -hmm. cognates. Hold on one second. I'll show you. Cool. I can't ever get anybody to care about this because they don't <laughs> care about Norwegian, but like mm. it's so cool. I think other people have told me to read Canterbury Tales, but I, I never know where to get it. I'm trying to find like what you want is the comparison. Canterbury Tales prologue, original Middle English. Com Side by side English. Oh. No, it exists. It's a thing that we do. Mm -hmm. No. Ugh, sorry, I'm not stopping till we do this. It's so fun. Good. But yeah, there, even by the Middle English time, there were still so many, perhaps I think almost even more obvious cognates and connections because Middle English is more similar to our modern English. So we recognize it. Right. Oh my gosh, this is pissing me off. Sorry. I won't actually need to really translate it to you, but you can listen to how I pronounce it. It's just so cool because there are cognates with words you would never have expected with Norwegian and literally nobody would care except somebody who knows Norwegian and I've never right. had an audience for this. Okay, so this <laughs> is how you would say it. But you'll, you'll hear it better then you'll it. see it. Yeah. Wan the opera with the shore is sutta, the drocht of marsh had pursed to the rutta, and bothered every vein in swish liqueur, of which virtue engendered is the flour. Wan the fearest acre with his sweat a breath, in spirit hoth in every halt and hath, the tender croppers and the young is on the hoth in the ram his half course irona, and smaller folders mocking melodia that sleep in all the nicht with open gear. So that means when April with his sweet showers, so you see Sutta, mm -hmm. it's spelled different, but it is actually pronounced Sutta. Yep. It is an auditory cognate. Had The waters of March had pierced to the Rutta, mm -hmm. like bothered every vein and switched the cura, of which vertu is gendered as the Flur, which sounds Norwegian, even though it's not to yeah. modern Norwegian, might be older. And then the Yonge Sonne. Yep. And the smaller fule. Mm -hmm. Like, that's even like, it reminds me of like, all the fule, small dear. Oh, it's just so cool to be like, that is Nor. It's basically Norwegian. <laughs> right. Especially in the sound. Yeah. I don't yes. know. Is this the way it was written? What I'm saying? This seeing? is the way it was written. So it kind of okay. reminds me of how like Swedish sounds so much like Norwegian, but doesn't look like it. Whereas right. like Danish looks like Norwegian, but doesn't sound like it. Let's see, you better keep a lot of this in there because I think it's fun. We're kind of, eventually we're going to probably get kind of repetitive on some of the Victorian topics. So I think right. these little like Dang bypaths nice. into, yeah. Okay. So I can show you, I'm pretty sure that I'm not wrong about this, but it's possible that I've drifted towards a more Norwegian pronunciation over the years. But like we were told how to say this in my high school oh. and my memory is that it was, it sounds exactly like Norwegian. So let's see. 
commercial. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's Juan that April with his shore sorter, the drought of March hath pierced to the rota, and bothered every vine in sweet liqueur, of wit vertu engendered is the floor. Juan Sefer's egg with his sweet breath, in spirit hath in every heart and head the tender croppies, and the young son hath in the ram his half cos iron, and smaller fallers marking melody that sleepen all the nicht with open ear. Isn't it cool? It's like it's Norwegian. Yeah. The other thing is, I think it also tips back to Germanic as well on the other mm. side, and so it's um, yeah, it's splitting right down those. Yes. I know. It's, I mean, of course, like anybody listening to this that speaks actual Norwegian will be like, you're wrong because Norwegians are very literal. But like, right. <laughs> it's still a shocking resemblance. And I think mm -hmm. one that, at least in the fields of work that I've ever been in, nobody cares about. Like the Norwegians I know don't care about Middle English and the people I know that speak Middle English don't care about its debt. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, there's probably people out there, but just right. I haven't ever really met anybody right. that would talk with me about it. Thanks for meeting me. <laughs> well, but that's life. Life is a bouncing ball on a clock. Cool. Okay. Bye. Bye. Victorian Periodical Parade. Victorian Periodical Parade.